Are you the local boss of the scavengers? Eh, yeah, you could say that. Not bossing much, I'm afraid. We used to have adventurers raiding around here, but now, just one. One? Yeah, she's around somewhere. You might run into her. We found an old Tiamarian monastery south of here. Yeah? Tell me where. We'll take care of it. The Senard's up in mad. Why is that? The whole week he's been waiting, and still no meeting with the Baron. Well, that's weird. Usually they meet every day at least. Like an old couple, the two of them. Well met. What can we do for you on this fine morning? The Senard sent us to talk to you. Anything unusual in the last days? Well, the Baron came back with a bunch of prisoners. Highwaymen, apparently. I'm wondering why they didn't hang them on the spot. Hanging, eh? Would that be the normal practice? Yes. You don't need that many prisoners to make them talk, if you ask me. We should go. Pleasure doing business with you. Stay in the light. It's rather silly, really, this young man. He asked me for a specific design so he could propose. So, he probably gambled the money away. Not him. Straight arrow. On the fast track to Sergeant Oriya. I asked around. So, where is this paragon of yours? Consigned to guard duty. A whole week. And that just on his return from patrol. Eric, he is due some liberty. Lass, I already told you, he's assigned to guard duty. A whole week of it? And that after two weeks on patrol? No, he just doesn't want to see me anymore. Now, Lass, don't you fret. It's not that at all. The old man has his whole patrol on guard duty in the basement ever since they came back. Something's up. And whatever it is, it can't be good. Mr. Smildred, the brewer wants to know when to bring the next delivery of ale. He doesn't want it to go stale. He has his reputation to consider. If only the Stone Fist had let his thirsty patrol out on leave as usual. But now, we've only got the regulars and the ale's not moving too fast. Take him two empty barrels and get two new. It's the best we can do right now.
Well met again. So, you've had a chance to walk around the city and hear what people are saying? So, what do you think? The story with the highwaymen is also weird. Why keep them prisoner? Normally, the penalty is clear and swift. On the frontier, you don't feed idle people, particularly not scum like highwaymen. At best, you put them to work. At worst, they become fertilizer. Something's wrong. Soldiers back from a patrol denied leave, posted to guard duty instead of visiting the tavern. There are two things I didn't mention in our last conversation. Things about Roald and the Baron. What about Roald? When you told me of Roald's death and return his personal effects, I was speechless. Not out of grief, but because not a week before, Roald had come back from patrol. You mean one of them is not who he seems? What about the Baron? I've known him for 20 years. I was a founding member of the company. Now, for the first time in 10 years, I am Officer of the Day posted here, and that's not all. For the last 10 years, he's always called me Joris. Now, all of a sudden, it's back to Nikonin. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Suggestion, Sarge? The Senard mentioned your mission. He and I go back a long way. So, go to see the Baron and tell him your heirloom story. I know what his normal reaction would be. So come back and we can compare notes. And if I were you, I wouldn't mention Roald, the caravan, or anything else. Clear skies to you. Greetings, adventurers. Sergeant Nikonin says you want to see me on some urgent matter? Yes, it concerns our traveling companion, Lady Kathaela. Then let her speak for herself. My lord, before the Cataclysm, this valley was in the care of my family. Alas, only a few of us managed to survive, and none at all in the valley. A sad tale, my lady, but not uncommon. Those were dire times. My father passed away recently. Upon his deathbed, he mentioned some family heirlooms left in a hidden room somewhere in the fortress. With your leave, my lord, I would like to search for this hidden room and retrieve my family's belongings. Out of the question. This is my castle, and all in it belongs to me. Now be gone, and be glad that, as a guest, you are protected by our customs. Otherwise, your impudence would land you in the dungeon. He's rude, but he's a dwarf after all. Ah, you're back. How did the audience go? Clear skies. Well, he didn't imprison us, just threw us out. Just threw you out? That's not like him at all. Oh, he's not always so generous to strangers. No, just pragmatic and smart. Pragmatic? It would be cheaper to let you find the heirlooms under close escort. He'd demand a fee, but it's easier than having to search for himself. Smart? Of course, smart. If we assume Lady Kithaela's story is true, 
then arresting her or coercing her could have drawn the ire of an elven clan. A pretty stupid move for stuff which might only have sentimental value, so not like drawn there at all. Fine. What do you suggest? Let me make some preparations. You go back to him tomorrow, as envoys of the Legacy Council. He is a nice dwarf. Welcome to the inn. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure, get settled. Sergeant Nikonin, why are you bringing these people to me again? My lord, they showed me credentials that I thought you should see. Credentials? What do credentials have to do with Lady Kitaea's claims? My lord, we are deputies of the Legacy Council. And the Legacy Council interferes in Copperan's affairs? Quite the contrary, my lord. The Council would appreciate Copperan's help. Why didn't you say so yesterday? We do not flaunt our allegiance unless there is need, my lord. Lady Kithaela has agreed to help the Council in a delicate and vital matter. And what is that? Historical research. Those baubles have some historical value? We believe so, my lord. We wouldn't be here otherwise. Then why not just say so? Confidential matters are best handled confidentially. My lord. Hmm. Then, uh, shall we search for these heirlooms together? I shall escort you, and we'll inventory the historical items. Then we can discuss a reasonable share for the keep. That would be more than fair, my lord. Then please, lead the way. Where should we start? In the basement, my lord. Let's go then. Nikonen, you were right to bring them to me. Now, back to your post. Yes, my lord. The Baron's waiting for you. Here. This is the place. And so near the dungeons. How subtle. And fitting. Please, Lady Kateya, before we inventory your heirlooms, 
There is something I wish to show you. You will find it interesting, hopefully. Is that the Baron? Now we shall all have a nice long chat together. And you will give me that crown! formidable. Death claims you. Still in the fight, my friend.
You'll die anyway. to hell. success. Again.
palpable hit. Kromnir, thank Aina, you're safe. Yes, I am. Thanks to Joris and these adventurers, it seems. Thank you. Now, old friend, go see Atima with Joris. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I am the Sainard, and you, you shall resume your duties. Only if our cleric says you're fit. But... No buts. I shall secure the keep and the valley till you're back. As for you, my friends, find Lady Kitaela's belongings and meet me in the throne room. Strike true.
Tell us, Lady Cathayla, what did you find? A gem? This is my spell book. I remember. A wand, a robe, some money as well as a piece of paper. What does it say? I don't know. There is only one word written on the paper. Adrastio. Is that another place? I'm not sure. I feel the pull coming back. I guess we'll soon be on the road again then. More monsters to kill. Fantastic. What about that door? Another secret from Imperial times? Your gate. Captain Ironshell was right. This dusty old room? Yes. Look at it. It's perfectly intact. It is locked, though. How do we unlock it? You need to use its name. It would normally be engraved nearby, but this was a private, secret gate. So we can't use it? I know its name. This was my family's. So? Once you get me to my master, I'll give you the name. I guess that's fair. And then we teleport to Ker Kiflin? That's fantastic. I'm not sure the Senad will want to wait. Then I'll give him the name, but you still need to stay with me. She's tough, but at least she doesn't sound crazy anymore. Watch your words, you... <sighs> Never mind. Lady Kitaeya, dear friends, words are not enough to convey my thanks. Your swift action has saved my life, and our veil. We shall be more wary of the Council's warnings. The Council warned you? Indeed. I thought they exaggerated, alas. If anything, they weren't loud enough. Sorax are real. You saw them with your own eyes. Their presence was a clear message. Be wary. Be careful. True. We won't let our guard down. How does this change your position? Do you plan to join the Council, or simply help us in our endeavors? We shall join. The discovery of the Hidden Gate will allow us to communicate swiftly. But enough about matters of state. The Senard has the right of it. The only benefit of power is the ability to reward friends. And true friends of Corporan, you have proven to be. Thanks for your kind words. We feel quite rewarded. You are hereby granted permanent citizenship of Copperan, with all associated rights, as well as free use of our rediscovered gate. The keys to the town, maybe? And these gems from our minds are well suited to holding enchantments. Go forth on your journey with our blessings. Many thanks for your generous gifts. May Aina watch over Copperan.
to the inn. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure, get settled. Well met. What can we do for you on this fine morning? What do you sell? 